to sit on a porch with my sister wives, with our kids and our grandkids. Mm -hmm. that's, what call, that's what everybody calls me, the wife left standing. The, the wife that stuck stuck it out or something. I don't remember what he says, but mm -hmm. it is something along those lines. I mean, Cody and I have an agreement that if we decide we don't want to be married anymore, we're not going to hold each other up. But I never thought that I wanted to leave the marriage, no. Okay. Um, I just I just know how much I love Cody and I know he's a good guy and he's doing his best. I don't think anybody <laughs> should be married while they're going through a divorce. Robin Brown, the fourth and youngest wife of Cody Brown, has recently given an explosive interview to a magazine where she reveals the truth about her life with Cody and why she's considering divorcing him. Robin Brown sobs, my life with Cody is hell, he's pushing me to divorce in a shocking interview. What did she say? Why is Cody pushing her to divorce? And what does this mean for the future of the Sister Wives family? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip-smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. If you're a fan of the show, you know that Cody Brown, the polygamous husband of four wives, has been going through a lot of trouble in his relationships lately. He's divorced three of his wives, Christine, Janelle, and Mary, and is now left with only one wife, Robin. But is Robin happy with Cody? Well, according to a recent interview she gave to People Magazine, the answer is no. In fact, she said that life with Cody has been hell at times, and that he's tried to sabotage their marriage. She also said that she feels like they've failed as a family, and she struggles with depression. Robin is the fourth and youngest wife of Cody, and the only one who's legally married to him. They tied the knot in 2010 and have five children together, Dayton, Aurora, Brianna, Solomon, and Ariella. Robin was also previously married to another man, David Jessup, and had three children with him, Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna. Cody adopted them in 2015. Robin joined the Brown family as a spiritual wife, meaning that she had a religious ceremony with Cody, but not a legal one. She agreed to become his legal wife in 2014 when Cody divorced his first wife, Mary, so that she could adopt Robin's children from her previous marriage. This caused a lot of tension and resentment among the other wives, especially Mary who felt betrayed by Cody. Robin has always been seen as the favorite wife of Cody and the one who gets the most attention and affection from him. She's also been accused of being manipulative and controlling by some fans and critics of the show. Some people think that she's the reason why Cody divorced his other wives and moved the family from Utah to Arizona. But Robin claims that she never wanted to be in a monogamous relationship with Cody. She said that she joined the family because she believed in plural marriage and wanted to be a part of a big and loving family. She said that she was happy with the way things were before COVID-19 hit and changed everything. I feel, I feel like we, um, I, I am embarrassed that we, uh, sh you know, showed our, our family to the world and then that we can't keep ourselves together. Like that's really embarrassing and I feel like that we failed because this was the commitment that we made and we were all in this and we all made this choice to do this. There is a weird feeling of like this. Furthermore, she said that COVID-19 made her wonder if what she saw when she entered the plural family was real or not. Likewise, she said that she doesn't understand why Cody became distant and angry with his other wives and why they decided to leave him. She said that she feels like they've given up on their commitment and their faith. She also said that Cody has been going through a lot of pain and guilt because of his divorces and that he's taken it out on her sometimes. She said that he was trying to self-sabotage and sabotage their marriage by picking fights and being rude to her. She said that she's had to work hard not to let him push her away. She said that she loves Cody and that he's doing his best, but she also admits that their marriage is not perfect and that they have their own issues. She said they have different opinions on how to raise their children, especially their son Dayton, who has Asperger's syndrome. She said that Cody doesn't understand Dayton's needs and challenges and that he sometimes makes him feel bad about himself. She also said that they have different views on whether or not they should have more children. She said that Cody wants more kids, but she doesn't. She said that she's happy with the five children they have and that she doesn't want to put her body through another pregnancy. She said that she had some health problems in the past and that she was afraid of having complications or losing another baby. 
She revealed that she'd had a miscarriage before conceiving Ariella, their youngest daughter, who was born in 2016. She said that it was a traumatic experience for her and Cody and that it made them appreciate their daughter even more. She said that Ariella is a miracle baby and that she is grateful for her. She also said that she doesn't want to bring more children into a broken family. She said that she feels sorry for her kids who have to deal with the drama and the changes in their family. Um, anybody who's gone through a divorce knows that it brings out the worst in you mm -hmm. and sides of, you know, somebody that you didn't know existed type of a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I always look at divorce as kind of like, because I've been divorced myself and so I always look at divorce as like the opposite of all of the effort and the beauty and the wonder and the happiness of marriage. It's like the opposite of that. And she said that they miss their siblings and their other moms who live in different houses. She said that they don't get to see them as often as they used to because of COVID-19 restrictions and because of the bad blood between Cody and his ex-wives. She said that she hopes that one day they can all be together again as a family and celebrate holidays and birthdays like they used to. She said that she still loves her sister wives and that she considers them her friends. She said that she doesn't blame them for leaving Cody and that she respects their choices. She said that she wishes them happiness and peace. She also said that she's not interested in bringing in more wives into the family. She said that she feels like it would be disrespectful to Cody's ex-wives and to their children. She said that she doesn't think that Cody is looking for another wife either. She said that he's too busy and overwhelmed with his current situation. She said that she's seeing a therapist to help her cope with her depression and her stress. She said that she's trying to stay positive and hopeful for the future. She said that she's working on her relationship with Cody and that she's not giving up on him or their marriage. She said that she believes that they can overcome their challenges and that they can find happiness again. She said that she's still committed to Cody and to their faith. She said that she believes that God has a plan for them and that he will guide them through this difficult time. She said that she trusts in God's will and in his love. She ended the interview by saying that she loves Cody and that he loves her. She said that they're still married and that they're still a family. She said that they're not perfect, but they are trying. And she said that they're not giving up on each other or their dreams. But is it too late for Robin and Cody? Can they save their relationship or will they join the other three wives who left Cody in the past year? And what does this mean for the future of Sister Wives? Will there be a season 19 or will this be the end of the show? These are some of the questions that fans are asking after watching Robin's heartbreaking interview. Many fans have expressed their sympathy for Robin and their disappointment in Cody. Some fans have also criticized Robin for staying with Cody and for being naive about the reality of polygamy. Here are some of the comments that fans have left on social media. Poor Robin, she deserves so much better than Cody, he's such a jerk. Robin is delusional, she knew what she was getting into when she married Cody. She can't expect him to be faithful or loyal to her. Robin is the reason why the other wives left Cody. She was his favorite and he neglected the others. She should have left him a long time ago. Robin is the only one who still loves Cody. She's trying to hold on to their marriage and I hope they can work it out. Robin is the only sane one in this mess. She's the only one who sees Cody for who he really is, a selfish and manipulative man. The future of Robin Brown is uncertain, as she's the only wife left in the polygamous marriage with Cody Brown. Robin, Cody's legal only wife, doesn't intend to leave him, but she has the option to do so. She declares her love for Cody and her belief in his goodness and perseverance. Robin is a business-minded woman who formerly managed the jewelry store in My Sister Wife's Closet for her family. It's unknown if she still does it or if she has any other professional goals. Robin's future may depend on how she and Cody can overcome their challenges and find happiness in their marriage, or if they decide to part ways as well. That's all for today's video on Robin Brown's shocking interview, where she revealed how unhappy she is with Cody and how he's pushing her to divorce. What do you think of this situation? Do you think Robin and Cody will split up? Do you feel sorry for Robin or do you think she deserves it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see you in the next one.